In Q4 reporting, Tesla highlighted the fact that the new Tesla Model S Plaid is the fastest accelerating production car ever made. Plaid Plus will go from 0 to 60 in less than 2 seconds. It's quite understandable that all iconic IC brands such as Porsche, Lamborghini, Bugatti are left behind. But what about electric cars? In fact, there are a few other brands which are getting ready to challenge Tesla. Let's take a closer look together. Bakunin live. Today I've picked five electric cars with declared 0 to 60 acceleration in two or less than two seconds. Two of them are made in California, another two in Europe and the fifth one in Japan, believe it or not. They have a lot in common and you'll see that when we go through the list. However, there is one commonality I'd like to bring to your attention up front. Price. I promise you will be impressed to discover what it really takes to achieve this outstanding performance in the automotive world. Did I already tell you that the center of automotive innovation is rapidly moving to California? California is becoming a truly automotive state with Tesla, Lucid Motors and other clean energy players. Karma Automotive is among them. The hypercar uh, Karma CS2 was unveiled at the Los Angeles Auto Show in 2019. The Caesar Dort CS2 is the only concept car on my list. It has 1100 horsepower, an estimated top speed of 200 miles per hour and 0 to 60 acceleration in 1.9 seconds. There is also torque vectoring, a motorsport style pushrod suspension and carbon ceramic brakes. CS2 has a 120 kWh battery pack, but the battery pack's shape is very unusual. Current trend is to integrate flat batteries into the floor or even to go further and literally build a car around the battery. Karma's battery has an eye shape and it's mounted in the central tunnel. Driving range is quite impressive, 350 miles, but it's not hard to achieve it with such a massive battery pack. Unfortunately, the price is not available yet, but I'm sure you will guess it and be at the right level of magnitude looking at other models on my list. Draco GTE is also engineered in California in San Jose and I call it a far relative to Karma CS2 because it's actually built on a Fisker Karma chassis. Given the Fisker Karma heritage, I'm not surprised that Draco GTE is a full-size four-door sedan which seats four passengers. The ex Pininfarina design director Loe Vermersch, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing his surname correctly, worked on this vehicle and it's the only high performance car on my list which you could potentially compare with Tesla Model S body wise. But I wouldn't advise you to do so until you hear the price. You are expected to pay 1.25 million dollars for 1200 horsepower, 206 miles per hour top speed and 0 to 60 acceleration in about 2 seconds. Impressive, isn't it? To achieve this performance, Draco GTE has four motors, two on each axle, with a 90 kWh battery pack. Draco GTE can cover 250 miles on one charge, not bad at all, but a bit short of the famous 300 miles, which is according to Elon Musk is the new norm for EVs. The good news, Draco GTE supports DC fast charging at 150 kilowatts, both CHAdeMO and CCS plugs. This car is already available for sale, but production is very limited. The plan was to assemble only 25 units in 2020. Changing gears and continents. Rimac C2 is the successor of Rimac Concept 1 from Croatia. Concept 1 was a successful project with 88 units sold. Correct, 
You don't need many to amortize your investment when you sell hypercars. But at the same time, you will see that C2 accelerates a bit faster than Model S Plaid, which can technically mean that C2 can show up on the list of the fastest cars as soon as it's ready for production. The intention was to launch this EV in 2020, but I'm guessing because of COVID the plans were a bit delayed. Horsepower 1914, top speed 258 miles per hour, 0 to 60 acceleration. 1.85 seconds. Bingo! Four powerful liquid cool motors and a super light 200 kg carbon fiber monocoque chassis are the key elements to get to this impressive acceleration. Rimac Automobili have chosen a 120 kWh battery pack, which can deliver a decent 340 miles driving range. The Creation Startup plans to produce only 150 units at the price of 1.94 million US dollars. Looking forward to seeing the final production version soon. Pininfarina Battista is the second European hypercar on my list today. The car was unveiled at the Geneva Motor Show in 2019. Don't be surprised to discover some commonalities with Rima Concept 2 because they actually share the platform. You definitely see the Italian touch here on the upper body, but still there are a few similar design solutions on both cars. Caesar doors, headlights, mirrors. The Battista is also equipped with a motor for each wheel and uses a 120 kWh battery pack. However, some of you will see nuances when it comes to performance. With almost the same horsepower as Rimac C2, the Battista has a slower top speed of 217 miles per hour and we don't really hear about record-breaking acceleration yet. 0 to 62 miles in less than 2 seconds. 300 miles driving range. Well, 300 miles are promised on the WLTP cycle. The EPA cycle is a bit conservative. I'd expect something between 200 and 250. Are you ready to pay 2.5 million US dollars for this masterpiece? Then you need to hurry up. Total production will be also limited to 150. 50 units, and according to Pininfarina's officials, the reservations are coming in very fast, which doesn't really surprise me given the reputation of the Italian design firm has globally. You can rarely find Japanese car makers on the list of fastest cars with maybe one remarkable exception – Nissan GTR, the legend. But this time, the newcomer from Osaka is here to surprise us. Aspark Owl is the fastest, but also the most expensive electric hypercar on our list. And it's already available in Europe and North America since October 2020. Let's have a look at its performance. Almost 2000 horsepower, 248 miles per hour top speed, and an incredible 0 to 62 acceleration in 1.69 seconds. Guess what? Four motors? and the super light carbon fiber monocoque which weighs only 265 pounds. I guess that, but also as smaller compared to other supercars on the least 64 kilowatt hour battery pack, allow Aspark Owl to take the first spot on our ranking today. And there is a premium price to pay for this unprecedented performance, 3.2 million US dollars. The company is announcing a 280 miles driving range, but I wouldn't be so sure given the battery pack is almost twice smaller than what competitors are offering. Overall, uh, Japanese company is claiming that Asper Cowell will be twice as powerful as the best Formula One engines and three times more powerful than Formula E race cars. Practically speaking, there are a couple of production cars on my list which accelerate faster than the recently unveiled Tesla Model S Plaid, 
But I wouldn't criticize Tesla for this bold statement because all those cars are planned to be produced in very small, tiny, non-industrial volumes and the price is truly prohibitive for the majority of car enthusiasts. On the other hand, I'm looking forward to seeing the Lucid Air Dream Edition on the roads this spring. 1080 horsepower and 500 miles driving range at the price of 161.5 US dollars sounds like a bargain for sports cars lovers. And you're absolutely right. This review wouldn't have been complete if I didn't mention the new Tesla Roadster. I would assume the new Roadster will be borrowing a number of key components from the new Model S, but still, the version with the SpaceX package and cold gas thrusters can positively surprise potential hypercar buyers in 2022. As you see, both Tesla and Lucid are going to make the life of hypercars makers very difficult. No doubt the Pininfarinas of the world will find their buyers, but you won't really see many of those on public roads unless you live in Dubai or in posh districts of LA. Anything else you'd want to know about electric cars? Do let me know in the comment section down below. See you next week.